Hi again guys, welcome back to Ben Goes Electric. Today you join me at Burton Wood Services, just off the M62 outside of Liverpool near Warrington. Apologise first, I haven't got all my equipment, so the mic might not be the best, it's just my phone one, but I was just charging here, um, just after my job, and noticed something different. It seems that it's expanded since we were last here, back a couple of months ago. So let's have a look at what's changed here at Burton Wood Services. So, cars on charge. Lovely new animation on the screen now when you're supercharging, you actually see the supercharge unit. Nice little change, but not a major one. So, two things have changed here. First, if you're a non-Tesla, finally, the Apple Green electric charges have opened. You've got, let's have a count, two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten bays at Apple Green Electric, which is great to use. You don't have to use those old grid serves anymore. Great to see. But the surprising change for Tesla owners, out of nowhere, Tesla have expanded Burtonwood. So before you had the eight version two supercharger unit, max speed 150 kilowatts shared between two units. Not great, always busy. This site needed upgrading. I'm now here, they've added an additional 12 v3 units back on that in a minute so 250 kilowatts no issue with shared power or anything the old v2 units remain here still so now you've got the choice do a slower charge use the old ones if you want to stay for some food or if you're just here for a quick zap and dash use the faster ones so v3 units i said why v3 few reasons for that a they just had them in stock ready to use the other reason is this is still a Tesla only site. So it makes sense to use these older units if they've got on stock because only Teslas are going to use them at the moment. Save the V4 units for the newer sites where they're open to all. Tesla only, not Tesla's fault because of it's a welcome break and welcome break own Apple Green slash Apple Green own welcome break. So they have their own chargers. They don't want competition. So Tesla only for this site which is why V3s, same specs as V4, so there's nothing really wrong with that. So that brings Burton Wood from 10 chargers originally, two grid serves and the eight original Teslas to 32 chargers now at this site. So completely changed. It's now a site I recommend you to come and visit. Of course, Tesla's still cheaper <laughs> and Apple Green Electric around 74p, 79p a kilowatt hour. Not the worst, not grid serve, not shell recharge, but still quite expensive. So would I recommend you use it? Yeah, no. It depends on your journey, of course. It really depends. Just to cut in here, a few days after I filmed this video, I went back to check the details and only then I noticed that the Apple Green Electric charges are 400 kilowatts max speed. These are some of the fastest charges in the country now. So if you've got a Ionic 6, Ionic 5, Kia EV6, Porsche Taycan, Porsche Macan, or the new Mercedes CLA with these ridiculous charging speeds, or the new BMW iX3 coming out, which have got speeds of 400 kilowatts, you need to go and visit this charger because it will give you the fastest charging possible. You're talking 10 to 80% in around about 10 minutes, adding 200 miles of range. So in that case, I changed my mind. Yes, visit these chargers if you need a quick charge. We've gone from 50 kilowatts with grid serve to 400 kilowatts with Apple Green at this one site at Burton Wood. As you can see, things are changing. Things are improving. Electric cars are coming. We can't stop them. But infrastructure is improving rapidly day by day. We're gonna see more of these across the country. So faster chargers, more chargers, yay for all so just want to cut in and say that back to the rest of the video so it's great to see so it looks like teslas are upgrading them instead of replacing the v2 units the more upgrading the sites keeping those units still in but having additional ones installed these v3 units it's happened here hopwood park as well has got the exact same setup so it seems to be a common thing
So that was just a quick one here at Burton Wood Services. I do apologize for the lack of videos recently. A lot of personal life stuff and work being very busy. But I hope to get back to scheduled programming very soon. But for while I was here, let's just do a quick video looking at this upgraded site. Part of the charging tour, you might add. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for future videos. And I hope you enjoy this one and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much, guys. Bye bye.